Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mia Sin and today I'll be showing you a double deck profile. So basically, uh, I'll be showing you guys my Pendulum deck as uh, as well as my Metal Force deck, the Yasin Turbo, the Metal Force True Draco. So, uh, well, first of all, before I go into like uh, any deck profile, I would just like to say I personally like True Draco Metal Force more than Pendulum Magicians. I think they have a a much higher ceiling. The only issue that I have with Metal Fools is that they search so much that they actually lose to Ash, Droll, and Superbolt. While a Pendulum Magician, they uh, they have something that that's like uh, like it's basically just simplicity as it's uh, at its uh, at its best. Like they don't really search that much. They can hard play through like um, a bunch of like annoying uh, annoying floodgate monsters and stuff like that. So it's really good. You have a lot of uh, great utility cards. So to be completely fair, both options are really, really good. And I think even with Electrum going to just one, um, you know, it, it doesn't really change anything. Because technically, if you if you know how to how to combo correctly, you should still be able to end on three interruptions, sometimes even even four uh, when you're playing Pendulum. So uh, yeah, it, it really did nothing. The only uh, hit that we got was uh, Steven Band. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Anyways, so um, without further ado, uh, let's start with the deck profile. So the first card we play, of course, is Dragon Pit Magician. We also play the Genki. So Dragon Pit is a is an interesting one. Uh, I have to explain that one because um, it's another level seven, so target for harmonizing, but also it's a high skill. So uh, Wisdom Eye can uh, not only get uh, your Black Fang but also your Dragon Pit. And um, it's really important because it has a skill effect that says when you have another magician card in your other pendulum zone, you can discard a pendulum monster, then destroy a spell or trap on the field. And the reason why this is so good is because if you haven't realized, it says you can discard a pendulum monster, not a magician monster. So going second, for example, you can discard Dark Worm, and that literally just makes your hand better. That transforms a Dark, dark Worm from your hand into a turbo card. So it literally increases the ceiling of your, of your deck. And if you have like Wisdom Eye plus like another Magician, a Dark Worm in your hand, and like, I don't know, like a dead card, you can literally just use Dragon Pit like on yourself, turn one, just so like you make a better board, for example, because doing that Electrum before your Pen Summon is really relevant. So, um,. Yeah, no, Dragon Pit was just amazing in, uh, in testing. I really like the card. Also, it allows you to get through annoying floodgates uh, before committing any monsters to the board. So, the card is just fantastic. Um, speaking of amazing, we also play the three Cerberus with the two Jackals. And this is a must. I'm not going to go into the details because it is probably the best turbo card in this deck. It is better than Chronograph, I would say, because it allows you to break uh, an interruption going second. And also, if your Cerberus gets ashed, you don't really lose that much value. And there's nothing else that your opponent can really do against it. And the fact that it's a one card, a 2800 beater is just really relevant and also it instantly gets you your uh, your your interruption in your extra deck so sometimes when you when you get a cerberus you don't have to necessarily use electrum's effect on summon since you already have the jackal so you can just pendulum summon whatever from your extra deck and just play from there so the card is just amazing um we play of course the standard three two for the dark worm and the bagel um I don't I don't like one bagel. I, I feel like Dark Worm is probably going to search uh, like more than once. Sometimes I technically summon Dark Worm like four times per per duel, but uh the second search is just way more than enough. Uh so yeah, that's that's a no-brainer. Chronograph is also a no-brainer. Ove Dragon a two once again. I really like two because harmonizing can special summon an Ove Dragon and you can make a Norito, for example. So it's really good. Uh, for the ratios for the Pendulum mon uh, Magicians, I play 2 Black Fang, 2 Purple, uh, 2 Purple Poison, 3 Harmonizing, and 3 Wisdom Eye. So, like, the only weird one here would be, like, Wisdom Eye because I play Pendulum Call, but... Thing is, like, if you draw Wisdom Eye and Pendulum Call, like, at least you can discard Wisdom Eye with Pendulum Call. I don't know, like, for me, it's not that bad. Or if you have Dark Worm, you just discard Dark Worm, and then, like, you normal summon uh, Wisdom Eye to make your Electrum with Dark Worm. So, like... Yeah, it can be awkward, but when you don't have Pendulum Call, Wisdom Eye is just amazing. So, it's it's worth the downside, I would say. It's it's still really good. So, yeah. And of course, Mr. Brick and uh <laughs> that that's the annoying card that uh took me a long a long time to uh figure out the ratio of a uh, Pot of Desires. Um 
Okay, look, no matter what ratio you play of Pot of Desires, you're always relying on luck to a certain degree. So whether you play 1, 2, or 3, if you're playing 1, like you're just not seeing the card whatsoever, but when you do see it, it's amazing. When you see 2, um, you're just praying that you don't draw into the other one. And when you see 3, like you're literally just trying to pray that if you draw the other one, you're drawing a Pendulum Call as well, because that's the only way of transforming your dead desires, like realistically you are not desiring twice in one um in one uh in in one in one duel so uh yeah desires is just an awkward one but getting extra cards in your hand is pretty nice and also super bolt it stops you from searching but not from drawing so this card is just still really good for me so yeah uh the two shrines and one foolish i like to i i like to one i don't really like uh three one it's it's too it's too crazy uh, then, th of course, three Pendulum Call, no Duelist Alliance, once again, um, sometimes you just draw, like, so many Duelist Alliances, like, I, it, sometimes you draw, like, one, du uh, two Duelist Alliance, and then the, fir <laughs> the, the, the first one gets Ashed, and the second one is dead, so if you want to play it just one, so you can just bait Ash against, like, bad players who Ash your Duelist Alliance instead of Pendulum Call, uh, feel free to do so, but, uh, I, I don't know. I cut Time Pendulum Graph from my deck anyways. Like, it's still a good card. I just wanted to play, like, more Pendulum cards. And uh, the, the the other, like, kind of, like, quote-unquote break that I play is Secret Village. Because, um, uh, essentially, Secret Village just works when you have, like, a pseudo good hand. But if you have Cerberus with Secret Village, you can already kind of do something. I mean, sometimes you just sit on, like, an undestructible by card effects Cerberus with Secret Village, and that's, honestly, like, it's still no joke. Like, your opponent can't really do that much against it. And if he's playing Brandish, this card helps you so much breaking boards going second. So, like, to me, it's not that bad. And going first is just an insta-win, obviously. Like, if, if you draw this going first, you win. And going second, it's not necessarily bad, and you can stop, like, twin and stuff like that. Uh, twin MST Cosmic Cyclone, just just random stuff like that. Widow Anchor, it's it's honestly relevant. And also, like when you activate Secret Village, your opponent literally has to flip Shared Ride on the activation of Secret Village. So you can make them neg like crazy. I don't know. It's I, I like the card honestly. For my extra deck, I'm gonna go over it real quick. So Vortex, Ignister, uh, Standard, Omega, Meteor Burst. Meteor Burst is a really good one. You make it uh, with a Harmonizing and Time Gazer, and you can special summon back a Donut from your scale to make uh, this guy, which makes him. So uh, yeah, Meteor Burst, Odd Eyes Absolute, and Odd Eyes Vortex is just really good. And also, I don't know if it came up for any of you guys, but when Odd Eyes Absolute dies, you can also bring back Meteor Burst, but like... I mean, it sucks because, like, bringing back Vortex, but, like, summoning Vortex from your extra deck is just always better. So, uh, yeah. But his effect is relevant um, because the opponent cannot use monster effects during the battle phase, so they cannot trigger Ray from the from the graveyard. So it's a really good card. Uh, Narito, of course. Uh, Karen Gorgon, interesting one. It um, changes the target of uh, Widow Anchor. Uh, Tornado, he sucks. Honestly, Tornado is actually the worst one. You only, like... I don't know, like, you kind of want to make him blind, but at the same time, the impact is just way too small, so I want to make him blind, Abyss Dweller, but, uh, I don't know. Yeah, he, he's he's iffy, I don't know, I'm not a really big fan of Tornado Dragon, but it still has to be in your extra deck, uh, so yeah. Silent Honor Arc and Excital Knight are pretty huge rank 4s, like, Silent Honor Arc is one of the is one of the best rank 4s at dealing with the Brandish, because, uh, shoutouts to Jeremy, Mich Jeremy Mitchell, by the way, um, so basically, he explained that, like, th there's nothing that they can really do if they don't have Widow Anchor. Like, you, ju you just steal their Brandish monster, and, like, that's it. Like, I mean, yeah, they can have uh, Eagle Booster, but, like, at least they don't trigger Ray, and that's just one of the most relevant things, because if they do trigger Ray, they're probably sponging an OTK, which is, like, really bad. So, yeah, no, this is good. Uh, Exciton Knight is so overpowered against Draco. Like, <laughs> it's actually insane. They, they don't have negation cards. They just have, like, destruction cards. So, like, if you can hard make an Exciton, like, just Foolish, Dark Worm, and then Normal Summons a rank, uh, level 4. Like, it's literally game. They, they need a Monarch's Erupt. Like, it's it's actually crazy. If you go, like, it's, it, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just really insane. I really like Exciton Knight, of course. He's broken. And for your link monsters, Boral Sword, Electron, Metaltron, and uh, Underclock. So that's that's about it. And the side is up to personal preference. Just you don't necessarily have to like consider any of those options. But I do recommend the Denko, uh, the Ash, maybe another Hand Trap. Uh, 
Pancratops and Apex Avion are both level 7, so you can play them, but like Apex was just complete garbage in testing. I really hated the card. Uh, Pancratops was slightly better, but he was still kind of bricky. I don't know. I, I'm I'm not a really big fan, but uh, anyways. Uh, so uh, yeah, that that that's it for the Pendulum deck profile for now. So we'll go straight into the Metal Foes deck profile. All right. So now we're back with the Metal Foes deck, which is really cool. <laughs> so as you can see, we're already playing twelve Metal Foes, uh, and only one Bismu Gear actually. Um, well, twelve Vanillas, so thirteen Metal Foes. So basically. In this version, since you're only playing like 44 cards, you don't really want to play like that many Metal Foes because technically drawing a hand of 5 Metal Foes is like not broken. It doesn't play... like it's kind of like drawing 5 Magicians but like worse because this deck doesn't have like a theme to harmonizing. So like basically every Pendulum would be a 1 for 1. So you technically need to play like balanced ratios of any everything. So um... Yeah, but also one thing that I like about this deck is that it has more uh... More like good turbo cards that um that pendulums. Like for example, we have access to the foolish and shrine, but we also have rabbit and hamster, which is insane. And we have the diagram, which is so relevant, and it can help you so much with so many. Th I don't know. Like diagram in this deck is crazy. You can diagram pop dark worm from your hand, uh, so it becomes a turbo card. You can pop combination to search. I don't know, like this, and then a metal foes uh monster, and then your metal foes scale would pop the disciples to set a combination again and then destroy it to get your other search so it's crazy with just a diagram and a combination you technically have full scales and then if you have a heritage you draw one card and then you can like pop it again and do the same thing so this deck plays for so long it's crazy when you have cards like mithrilium you you just keep recycling and it's just um it's a really, really good deck, and this is why I like it way more than Pendulum Magicians. I feel like they can they can just achieve more. It's just that they have f more issues because they also play Bricks. So a Metal Force Fusion, full Metal Force, and double combination when you don't draw the Diagram, uh, which is problematic. Technically, even Super Poly is a Brick when you don't draw like the nuts but you know sometimes you just go like i don't know like normal summon gold drivers set poly pass and then like they overextend and i'm like aha quick fuse crimsonite game <laughs> so uh yeah so yeah it's it's still really really good like su super poly pass is still like a threat because they can't really do anything or, like to play around it unless they have like I don't know, like a back row removal, so Super Poly is insane. And to search the Super Poly, we play the Infinity and Zero Donut, which I never want to do turn 1 blind, so in theory, the Infinity should go to the side deck, and this should be a second Donut, but um, I am not sure, I am still testing, and technically I'm also trying to build a 60 card Metal Force deck that can play like th triple Desires, no problem. Uh, and that, that's actually working, like, really, really well, by the way. Like, you would say, like, you would think that maybe, since it's, like, a 60-card deck, it's, like, inconsistent, but nah. One really weird thing with uh, Pendulums is that even when you're playing 60, it doesn't change anything, as long as you're playing, uh, like, as, you're, as, as long as you're still respecting the ratios of Pendulum cards. The only moment when you truly brick is when you're drawing, like, the same skills or, like, non-Pendulum cards, like, uh, your bricks and stuff like that, so... Um, yeah, so I already, already, I think I already explained everything here, uh, for the extra deck, one Crimsonite, one Orichalc, really relevant, basically Chaos Max, um, ah, this, this card, this card was so amazing in YCS Memphis, I, I remember my feature match when I attacked over the Trick Lawn, dealt 5600 damage, <laughs> yeah, no, True Draco Metal Foes was just the best deck, uh, so yeah. Uh, Vortex, of course. Vortex was just oh, uh, even better than in Pendulum Magician because you could summon, so we could summon Vortex during your opponent's turn by tributing uh, Absolute during their turn with True King's Return to summon Masterpiece. So the Vortex would bounce a monster as well. But uh, like now you could do that with like Apocalypse Return and uh, Dynamite. But like you're just playing more bricks. Like just just honestly just stick to only playing spells. Like don't play monsters with the Draco engine. It's really garbage. I tried Ignis and it sucked. So, uh, yeah. Uh, two Mithrilium. One Adamanti, he's kind of trash. I don't know, I'm, th I'm probably gonna cut it because Crimsonite is just better, but sometimes your opponent only has one monster and it's enough to, like, threaten you. So, I don't know, but, like, he's really bad. Like, sometimes you al al also want to fuse with yourself, but, um, 
Yeah, whatever. I think I summoned like once in testing. He's really trash. Uh, Alcast is also, ironically, really bad. Like, I mean, even he's broken, but uh, you never really want to go into him because it's super neg. So if you can make other interruptions, turn one, it's really good. The only moment when he's broken is when you have like the ability to make a uh, Ori Calc and then uh, set a full Metal Force Fusion to fuse into this during your opponent's turn, which is already two interruptions, because the Ori Calc is going to be sent to the grave to destroy a card, and then the Alcast would steal a card right away. So uh, it's basically two interruptions. It's really good. Um, it's just that your hand isn't always that broken, which is kind of frustrating, so yeah. Uh, rank 4s and links is the exact same thing. Only notable thing here is the Alistair Link and the Link Spider. So essentially, basically, if you have, uh, let's say, terraforming with um, Gold Driver and Silvered, uh, like, okay, let, let's say instead of, be, okay, this, this makes no sense. Instead of terraforming, we have Secret Village. So you'd go normal summon the Silvered, make a Link Spider, and then special, you use the effect to special summon the gold driver, and then you would link two into the Alistair link, and then activate your secret village, and boom. That's already Alistair link and secret village, your, your opponent can't really do that much. Like, trust me, like, Brandish, like, the, the simple fact of having secret village is just absolutely insane. It's... They, they can they cannot deal with it unless they drew like the nuts and like the best thing that they can do is like set a big booty hand trap like an ash or ogre or something and then you just kill them next turn so like yeah th that's the thing with pendulums when you break you only you only need well, like one turn to like recover and fully explode after that so it's uh it's crazy so uh yeah that's it for the deck don't don't look at my side deck uh this is just an idea purple poison you can play it if you want but the rest was basically just uh 12 out of 15 cards uh that i cited at uh, ycs memphis so uh yeah that's pretty much it so anyways those uh were the two deck profiles for uh true draco metal foes is aka yasin turbo and uh uh, Pendulum Magicians. So yeah, like I said once again, I I just feel like Metal Force True Draco is a better deck. I could be wrong, but uh, I've always just had a crush uh, for the deck. Um, I'm just going to keep con uh, keep testing uh, both decks and see uh, which one is the I guess we can say the best of the format because I truly believe that Pendulums are in the top five. Um, I don't know what what form yet, like what kind of Pendulum deck. But definitely it has to be like a pendulum related deck because they were just way too good. So um, yeah. Anyways, thank you very much for watching guys. And uh, till then, peace out.